Well, this is what you've been waiting for, my long-term review of my Mahindra Scorpio accessories. I really do love this vehicle. I think it's the perfect base to build a four-wheel drive off. And now that it's hit 45,000 kilometers, I did a review on it, which you can watch in the link above. So I'm gonna break this down into three main categories. The front of the vehicle, the top of the vehicle, and underneath the vehicle. The 12 volt system, I'm gonna leave until another video as I feel like that's its own topic. All right, starting up front, and this is the Rybuck bull bar, which I absolutely love the design of this thing. It's not too bulky on the sides, which I've seen on some other designs, and it has really great airflow, which if you know, the radiator on these vehicles is actually down low and the intercooler's up high. It also accommodates a 13,000 pound winch, which this is the Runva and has actually helped me once or twice before and did the job perfectly. I actually chose a 13,000 pound because I feel like you, you don't want to max out your winch. A lot of the times when people are doing long pulls with their winch, they can burn out easily. So 13,000 pounds for this size vehicle is the perfect size, I think. It also has two mounting points on the top, which means you can mount your UHF aerial. The other things I love about this bull bar, it fits my front parking sensors, my daytime running lights, as well as fog lights, and it has two really good recovery points at the front, which means if I'm stuck in sand and I need to use a bridle strap, it's equalizing that load across the entire front of the vehicle. In Australia, we also need to think about roof protection, which I've never had that issue, but it feels like a bit of insurance having something solid on the front. So the only thing we need to think about with the front of the vehicle here is the weight which is what we'll talk about next, it's under the vehicle. Okay, so now we're down here under the vehicle and let's talk suspension. This is the Tough Dog 40mm lift. And can I say, this thing performs really, really well. It's got a bigger bore size, which means it has more fluid capacity in it, which means they're less likely to heat up and fade on longer corrugated roads. The other thing it deals with it really well is the extra weight of the bull bar and everything else that I've added to this vehicle. I guess stock suspension's built to a price, really. And that means that it's tuned to the vehicle being in its stock configuration. So, you know, you add that extra weight and it's less likely to deal with it on longer sections of corrugated roads. And it also, I've, I've seen other Scorpio owners say that when they've added a bull bar with the stock suspension, the front becomes really bouncy because it's not able to deal with that weight. The other benefit of having a 40 mil lift is that you get that extra ground clearance in the center of the vehicle, but it also affects your approach and departure angles, which is really good when you're nosing up to something that doesn't scrape your front bumper, or when you're exiting somewhere and you, your bum comes down, doesn't scrape along the, the, the embankment that you're hitting. So I really highly recommend upgrading your suspension if you're gonna add more weight to your vehicle or go on long corrugated roads. The other thing I want to talk about while I'm down here is I got a three inch stainless steel exhaust upgraded on this vehicle. And it's not really something that you should think of as a performance upgrade unless you get a tune. It's definitely going to help get rid of those hot gases, but that DPF really is a block still on the whole system. So you, you don't get any more performance out of the vehicle and you also don't get the vehicle sounding any louder. What you do get, however, is the vehicle sounding a lot deeper, which I think when you turn the vehicle on at the end or the beginning of the day, it sounds so much manlier and meatier and it just sounds like a tough vehicle. I'll let you listen to that now. Okay, moving finally onto the roof rack, and this is the Front Runner Slimline 2 roof rack, which can I say, Front Runner makes the best roof racks on the market. It's so solid, like this thing mounts so well to the roof. It always feels like I can pull myself up, clean the roof, do whatever I need to up here, stand on it, mount whatever I need to, and it's super strong. It's also super quiet. A lot of people that I've heard had other brands and they're pulling their hair out with how noisy the other brands are on the highway. This thing comes with a windbreak at the front, which I've actually removed to fit the light bar. But with that installed, whisper quiet, no problem at all. I also love the T-mounting system on this. I've been able to mount all these accessories wherever I want very easily. Uh, it's something to note, but is that it's quite a, it's a smaller design. So if you try and get an accessory from another roof rack brand, you're gonna have some issues trying to fit their uh, mounting system into this. But Front Runner has a heap of accessories on their website. So you're able to accommodate whatever you need. It also fits a normal bolt head. So in the instance of these Max Trax mounts, they fit in there with their normal bolt head size without a problem. So what accessories have I mounted to this? The solar panel, I'll talk about that in the 12 volt video. This is the Max Trax uh, mounting system that you can buy off their website with the tracks. Up front is the Laser 42 inch, I think it is. I'll put it on the screen if I'm wrong. Um, I can't actually talk about this one yet because I haven't, I'll be honest, I haven't wired it up yet. I'll put that in another video one day. I'll show you how to wire that into the high beam system. 
um, but it fits in there brilliantly. And then finally on the other side is the 270 degree Darchi awning, which can I say, an awning is a life changer. Like in the middle of the day when it's blistering hot, we're able to sit under there and have lunch. It accommodates four people really easily. At nighttime, if it's raining and I'm in the back downloading footage because I use this thing as my camera car whenever I'm on shoots, I can use, I can download everything in the boot and I don't get a drop of rain on me, which is just awesome. Night or day, heat of the day, raining, it's not a problem. I can set up my swag also underneath this thing, which I've been on a camp before. People have had rain, enter their tent, had a miserable night. I've woken up the next morning and there's not been a drop of rain inside of my swag and I've had the door open to get fresh air. So having an awning, I can highly recommend this Darchi and the 270 degree, might I add, so it goes all the way around and covers the boot of the vehicle. So am I happy with the decision of adding these products to my car? 100%. I constantly get told how awesome this thing looks and every single one of these products have worked flawlessly. So feel free to ask any questions below. I feel like I've left something out. I'd be more than happy to answer them. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button and I'll see you in the next one.